Good day everyone. You're welcome back to my channel. What I have today is how I make this um, beautiful uh, crochet top. It's, an, it's a flat top as you can see. Very beautiful and easy to make. In this video, I'm going to take you through step by step how I actually achieve this um, project. All you need to do is to take your time to watch this video to the end. And at the end, you will really, really benefit. And if this is your first time you watch uh, my video, I welcome you to this channel. Here is a channel where you can learn how to cut and seal. And at the same time, how to crochet different kinds of uh, wears, crochet wears. All you need to do is to um, click on the subscribe button below. And you hit on the notification bell so that you can have access to my video. Thank you. Uh, as you can see, here is the back, the back part of this end on um, top. Why this is the the front? Can you see? Can you see how beautiful this top is? I want to believe that you really, really like this. So don't forget to also share this video out. To like this video and to give out your comments thank you very much so we can go so let's start now here is the rough sketch of what i'm about to do now this is the front neckline and as you can see i have 16 chains here now this is the sleeves these two sides are the sleeves here i have 18 chains now, of course, what I have here is what I shall be having here also. So, 18 chains. Then, I have here as the back neckline. So, to get the back neckline, I'm going to divide the front neckline by 2. So, 16 divided by 2, I will have 8. So, each of these will be 8. So, I'm going to sum it up i mean the perimeter of this and uh, shape so i'll be having 16 plus and 18 plus 18 i have in 36 then 8 plus 8 16 so i have this is 18 then i have um 1 plus 3 4 plus 1 5 plus 1 6 I have um, 68 here. So I'm going to subtract 4 from this um, 68 chains. So minus 4. So here I have um, 4, then 6. So I will be making chaining 64. So I'm going to keep this aside. Then I start. So I will be making two uh, use. I will be making use of a uh, two strand, as you can see. So the first thing I'm going to do right now is to make a slip knot. Then I insert my hook, I fasten it together, but making sure that my hook can roll in between. So right now I'm going to start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember we are going to 64 chains. So here is my 64 chains. So right now I'm going to chain extra two. One, two. So, so I will be inserting in the fourth loop. One, two, three, four. With double crochet.
next double crochet next so here i have one two three four five i proceed five six seven eight so going back to our sketch i'm starting from the back neckline where i have it and that is the height i have here already so right now so it's going to go like so like this like this till it comes back to this place so here is my eight double crochet one two three four five six seven and eight so right now i'm going to change to one two so I'm going to insert into the same loop as my corner, as my corner loop. So I proceed from here to the next one. Double crochet. So this is how I'm going to proceed till I round it up on this same round. As you can see, I've completed the round. So right now, I'm going to proceed from here. I'm going to into one, two. So I insert in the second loop with double crochet. Can you see? So I proceed. So I'll go what so it's just to follow this trend like this. And you see, so I insert in the vertex loop, double crochet, then one. Two. I insert into the same loop. Can you see? So this is how I'm going to proceed till I round it up. So as you can see, I've completed it. The round. So the next thing for me right now is to close it up, the sleeve, to close the sleeve up. But before I do that, I'm going to chain two. One, two. So, I insert into the second loop with double crochet. I proceed. Double crochet. So I'm going to proceed like that till I get to the last loop here. So as you can see, I've got to the last loop. The last loop before the vertex loop. So right now, I'm going to close the sleeve up. I'm going to join this vertex loop with the second vertex loop. Can you see? I merge it together. So I yarn over and I insert into the loop with double crochet so I open it up so I proceed into the node the next loop so I proceed double crochet So this is how I'm going to go till I round it up on this row. So 
so as you can see right here I've completed I mean the round I've closed the two sleeves can you see so the next thing right now is to make my is to attach my button hole so right now So the last loop here, I yarn over, I insert into the last loop, then I make a slip knot, um, sorry, I make a slip stitch, then I chain one, can you see, so I proceed into this loop with single crochet, proceed into the next loop single crochet I proceed single crochet single crochet and you see so this is how I'm going to take it round like so like this round the neckline so by the time I get to this side the left hand side so I'm going to fix my bottom uh, hole Now, as you can see, I've fixed the button on uh, hole. Can you see? What I use, I use four chains in each of the um, button hole with single crochet. So right now, by the time I got to this place, I make it single crochet up to the side of the sleeve. Can you see? Just single crochet. So right now, I'm going to continue from here. So, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. So having chain three, in this same loop, I'm going to insert with single, I mean with double crochet, I insert again in this same loop, double crochet. So in this single loop, you can see I have three double crochet, one, two, three. So right now I'm going to proceed, next loop, double crochet, next, double crochet, next double crochet now after that one i have one two three now in the fourth one i insert in the next loop i'm left with two chains so i'm going to leave this one like this so I'm going to insert, invite another color inward. So right now, I'm going to insert into the next loop. Can you see? Double crochet. So in this single loop too, I will be making three double crochet already. I have one. Two, then three can you see so right now I'm going to proceed into the next loop double crochet 
next double crochet next double crochet after this one after the one i make one two three in the single loop i have one two three now in the fourth loop i insert in the fourth loop like so i bring out the first two chains can you see so i leave this as it is so i bring out this I invite it in so I proceed into the next loop double crochet so here too I will be making three double crochet can you see so i have three double crochet in a single loop three double crochet in a single loop three double crochet in a single loop with an interval of four double crochet in across the four loops so this is how i'm going to proceed till i round it up on this row so as you can see i've completed this round all i'm left with is to make a slip stitch so right now i'm going to insert into the first loop right here why i make a slip stitch and you see so right now i'm going to insert into the second loop again So I make another slip stitch and you see so right now here I'm going to chain three one two three so I insert into this same loop with double crochet so in this same loop I will be making five double crochet already I have two here so I proceed double crochet third or three double crochet four then five can you see so right now now the fifth one here in this fifth one i'm going to lose it a bit so it is at the fifth one that i'm going to the second uh, color so i invite it in So I'm going to chain two, one, two. So having chain two, I'm going to insert in this second loop. Double crochet. So in this also, I'm going to make five double crochet. two three four and five and you see so the fifth one like i told you I'm going to stop at the fifth one then i leave it as it sits as it is then i invite another color 
and you see so i chain to one two so i insert into the second loop remember it's fifth nine three one two here i will also make five double crochet two three four sorry four then the fifth one like i said i will leave these two chains after which i invite another color inward then i proceed one two the second loop one two three four five i will also leave this and invite the next color so this is how i'm going to proceed till i round it up on this row So as you can see, I've completed the round. Can you see? So right now I'm going to make a slip stitch. So I'm going to insert in this first loop right here. This is the first loop. So in this first loop, I'm going to invite the second color. Why I make a slip stitch. Can you see? So here I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. So right now I'm going to insert into the second loop. With double crochet. Now, in this second end loop, I'm going to make two double crochet. Can you see? So, I proceed into the next loop. Double crochet. Next, double crochet. Then, the last loop here, I'm going to make two double crochet. As you can see, one two now i'm going to leaving these two chains i'm going to drop this so i invite the second color inward so i chain two one two so i insert into this loop double crochet can you see so i move into the next loop in this next loop i make two double crochet one one two so i proceed into the next loop double crochet next double crochet then the last loop here Two double crochets. So I'm going to drop this and I insert this inward. 
so I change to one two so I insert double crochet next loop two double crochet next double crochet next double crochet sorry the first loop is here double crochet next loop two double crochet next double crochet next double crochet then the last loop here two double crochet so i drop this and i invite this so this is how i'm going to proceed till i round it up on this end row I've completed the row uh, the round can you see so right now I'm going to stitch it up so I'm going to skip this first loop I move into the next loop where I make a slip stitch as I insert my hook in I'm going to invite the other color right away And I make a slip stitch so right now I'm going to chain three one two three so I insert in the second loop where I make two double crochet can you see so I proceed next loop double crochet next double crochet next double crochet then the last loop two double crochet so i'm going to drop this then I invite this I chain two one two so I skip this first loop I move into the next loop double crochet next loop two double crochet one two can you see next double crochet next double crochet next double crochet now the last loop here two double crochet So I drop it and I invite this. So this is how I'm going to proceed till I round it up to the point where I'm satisfied. All right. So far, so good. I've come to the end of this tutorial. Can you see? What I've achieved so far. Can you see how beautiful this crochet top is? 
I want to believe that um, you will really like I want to believe that you like this. Here is the front part of this um, top. Now here is the, the back. Can you see how unique and beautiful this top is? So I want to appreciate you all for taking your time to watch this video. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate. And then please don't forget to share this video, to like this video, and to give out your comments. Thank you very, very much. And for those of you watching my video for the very first time, I welcome you to this channel. Here is a channel where you can learn a lot. I mean a lot. All you need to do is to immediately click on the subscribe button and you hit on the notification bell so that you can have access to my video. And please don't uh, hesitate to share out the video, my videos, like my videos and then um, give your comments. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. So, like I say, here comes the conclusion of this tutorial. So, till I come your way again, I want to believe that you really enjoyed this same tutorial. Thank you very much. Bye for now.